this is the hardest laptop to review to date. Later in the video, I'll explain why. So stick around, the description is your friend, and so am I. Subscribe for more challenging laptop reviews like the fastest gaming laptop we have here, the X170 from ZTech PC. There's so much more to ZTech PC's X170 than what makes it great, but let's start with that. So to kick this off right, all of the hardware is replaceable, all of it. Battery, CPU, GPU, memory, storage, Wi-Fi, keyboard, it's all right here and will not take a surgeon to replace or maintain the X170. Our model is equipped with the i9-10900K 10-core CPU, a 200 watt 2080 Super, 4 memory DIMM slots, 4 M.2 drives, and the latest Wi-Fi 6. The membrane keyboard feels solid to type on and its RGB is bright with excellent uniformity. It also stays impossibly cool after a 5-hour gaming binge. In the unlikely event you spend a great deal of time on the trackpad, its large glass has well-balanced dedicated buttons and a Windows Hello fingerprint recognition. Set personal keyboard and trackpad preferences aside, for me, the only significant downside when typing is related to the chassis thickness in relation to your palm to wrist ergonomics, but raising my seat slightly improved this. This particular SKU has a Full HD 144Hz G-Sync display at 99% standard RGB, 74% Adobe RGB, 328 nits, this is a 5 millisecond panel. Gaming is as good as you can get on a desktop replacement laptop right now, crank those settings and still get great frame rates. Temps are solid too, in fact, top notch considering the wattage of the hardware inside. perhaps benchmark speak for themselves, and I think they do, the ZTech PC is a Prima partner also, which means its Prima BIOS can unleash the fury from the X170, offering potential per Prima's results shown right here that seem nearly impossible, mileage and skill set may vary. This is currently in its beta stage, and everything you see as far as gameplay and personal benchmarks is with no BIOS modification applied. The audio solution is solid all around and includes a subwoofer. It also has the lowest latency mon results I have seen yet. Tested with both power supplies connected or just a single brick. Have a listen. Fan acoustics are reasonable when you consider the hardware it's responsible for cooling. Idling around 30 decibels and maximum near 55 dB. Not only are they incredibly responsive to maximum speed and idle speed, they will reverse themselves at a highish RPM upon boot or wake up to slow down dust buildup. Port selection and port placement is another strong point for the X170. If it had another traditional USB or ultra high speed 2 or 3 SD card, it would be perfect for me personally. So why did I state in the beginning of this video that this is the hardest laptop to review to date? Let me answer, because this is not the same laptop you'll find from other vendors. ZTech PC spent a lot of time and money researching for solutions to tame this beast. They flew in a pro to test, tweak, cut, and grind the X170 to its perfection, and I might mean most of that literally. In other words, it's been modified beyond the BIOS and whatever thermal interface material vendors are known for offering. Out of the box, this laptop thermal throttles badly. Let me repeat, the factory spec, out of the box, this laptop thermal throttles badly. The factory BIOS from Clevo does the X170 the biggest disservice I have seen on a laptop of this caliber. You will be limited to third-party software such as XTU and ThrottleStop to modify its performance. 
If you're on the fence about this laptop or my information, then I suggest you wait it out until you see the X170 reviewed elsewhere. I'm saying this as your friend. Portability on the X170 is not one of its strengths. It feels durable with its aluminum lid and deck, but it's 10 pounds and requires two 280 watt power supplies for maximum power. Running the laptop on a single 280 watt PSU is fine on the go for casual tasks, but limits gaming frame rates to 30 FPS. This is something the P775 chassis this replaces did not do, but the P775 also used two 330 watt bricks. If you absolutely must take this with you for work, the single power supply will suit you just fine. The clever power supply unit organizer allows for dual 280 watt bricks or dual 230 watt bricks. Perhaps future SKUs will reveal different power requirements. Alright, I'm a little surprised to see a 720p webcam on a Clevo based chassis like this. Usually they go full HD, but this is not the case. Microphone, however, does sound pretty good. It will pick up keyboard strokes. And it definitely does not want to isolate fan noise. So don't do this, folks, to the people on the other side. Fortunately, a chassis like this running under quiet mode should be just fine to keep the fan acoustics down. So good mic, disappointed on the webcam. Eh. Despite the large 97 watt hour battery, runtime is good for about two hours at best. Consider this a power backup. The X170 does not have switchable graphics or a MUX switch. Its display is directly connected to the NVIDIA GPU for maximum performance, which is all this laptop ultimately stands for. Bottom line, this is a desktop replacement laptop that ZTEC PC felt was unacceptable and turned it into an enthusiast product, perhaps the best of its kind. It was never meant to fool you into thinking it is a go-anywhere laptop in the physical world, the virtual world, perhaps that's another story. Feel free to click on the videos around you, as well as what is in the description. Lots of great information in there that I think you would appreciate should you wish to know more about ZTEC PC and the Clevo X170. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm Bob of All Trades, and I'll see you in the next video.